Hi, my loves. Welcome back to the Stars Cartel channel. If you don't know, I'm Star. Yes, y'all. I'm in a different... Let me cut my... Okay. I'm in a different spot. Okay, I'm in a different spot. You know what I'm saying? It took so much work for me to get over here because I had to, you know, I had like their family pictures over here and I had to, you know, because, it, and it's not because I don't love them, you know what I'm saying? But just for their own personal protection, they are children and I don't want to have to snatch the body up for play. Okay, with my family. Anyways, the message I have for today comes in a form of song the song is how soon by joe um this song was in my head now what was crazy about it to me is that this is not like like i, I love don't, don't get it twisted i seen joe in concert twice you know what i'm saying once when i was what 18 19 years old in houston and a second time when i was on vacation in florida okay in my 20s i don't remember if i was I don't know if I was pregnant with my son or not, but he for sure, for sure was there. And I enjoyed that little concert on the beach. Anyways, both times I seen him, phenomenal artist. He sound just as good in person as he does on the record. But this song right here is not one of my favorites. It's not to say that I don't have favorites by him, but I can't honestly say this is not one of my favorites. Anyways, let's get into the song. This song was on my mind. On my mind this morning um so here are the lyrics wait a minute baby you're packing your bags i think he's just speaking right here how soon nah don't do that wait a minute just stay a while we can work this out sit down let's talk about it and then the song starts right here and this is what i keep hearing i miss your smiling face the smell of your perfume Girl, this bed is cold. Nothing to hold on to. Oh, yeah, the phone is cool. But, girl, I need you here. Be it plane, train, or automobile. How soon can you get here? <sighs> I'm going to miss you more than you know. Every time you want to leave, every time you leave, I want to beg you not to go. We have so much fun, girl, don't we, though? When you pack your bags to leave, I try not to let my feelings show. It's so hard for me, especially after you've been around. Distant lovers are what we are, and girl is breaking me down. Okay, and then it's the chorus again. I miss your smiling face, the smell of your perfume. Girl, this bed is cold, nothing to hold on to. Oh yeah, the phone is cool. But girl, I need you here. Plane, train, automobile. How soon can you get When will I see you? It's never too soon. Can you come in the morning and leave later that afternoon? See, I'm just a shell whenever you're away. Girl, I give anything just to see you every day. It's so hard for me, especially after you've been around. Distant lovers are what we are, and girl is breaking me down. You're a career girl. You got to do what you got to do. As much as I want you here with me, girl, I'm so proud of you. Okay, I'm trying to see if he have a bridge to this one, or is that the end? That's the end. <clears throat> I'm Cheryl LeVert wrote that. Oh, no, screw. Anyways, let me get to the scripture. The scripture comes from 4th Maccabees 5 and 9, and you will be acting, I think, still more senselessly if you follow vain concepts about the truth, and you will moreover be despising me to your own punishment. So here's the message. For whoever this is for, you know, when I heard this song, I can't stand. I was like, it must be nice. You know what I'm saying? It must be nice. It must be nice. It must be nice for whoever this is for. Beautiful. For you, it is beautiful that you got somebody that love you like this here. You know what I'm saying? But um, God is saying that this is somebody, they be trying to hide how they feel. And because they always trying to hide how they feel, the way they feel is never, like, it's never exposed. And, you know, people, they always throwing the word, you know, we hear the word exposed, thrown around everywhere nowadays. But I just feel like it's a situation where 
This is not a bad exposure. You know what I'm saying? But this is a situation where someone feels like this is bad. They feel like if they tell this person how they feel, that it's going to fall on deaf ears. It's going to like, you know, God said this is vanity. You are allowing your ego and your fear of rejection to make you feel like if you tell somebody how you feel, they're not going to feel the same way as you. Now, obviously... This is not a situation, like, I'm not talking about a situation where somebody, like, you already told this person how you feel. You already told them you don't like sleeping alone. You already told them that you're ready to move forward in a relationship. You already told them that you love them, that you care about them, and you don't want to be away from them. Mm -mm. This is somebody... You scared to tell this person how you feel because you don't believe they feel the same way. And you know what I'm saying? Sometimes it's easy for somebody to even say one thing out their mouth, but they show you different. And I just feel like for whoever this is for, you just feel like, mm-mm. You know, I just feel like you, and you know, even look like the song and how, um, He's coming from a position, we already know, Joe is very accomplished, okay? But, um, and he's talking about a woman who is very accomplished, that he's proud of, you know, that she working, and she doing her thing, and it's not a situation where she just playing around. But I just feel like for whoever this is for, it's like, either one or both parties feel like they don't want to be rejected. And when you, one thing about accomplishment, as quiet as it's kept, in order to get to accomplishing certain things in your life, you have to hear a lot of no's. And nobody talks about it that much. You know what I'm saying? Everybody likes to talk about the yeses. Everybody likes to talk about the wins, but nobody wants to talk about the no's. A lot of times, people that are very accomplished, they take the no's that they have heard and they push them to the back of their mind. You know what I'm saying? And I'm just being real. And, you know, it takes a while for you to finally, you know, get that yes. God said, for whoever this is for, you've been waiting and you've been waiting and you've been waiting to finally receive your yes. And, you know, you are feeling like, I just feel like it's both parties are looking at each other like okay if you say it then yeah but if you don't say nothing then i'm gonna act like you know what i'm saying i just feel like it's y'all both playing with each other god said still more senselessly if you follow vain conceits about the truth you will moreover be despising me to your own punishment and i'm gonna be real because this is a Christian channel, and this is the word of God. God said, a man who finds a wife finds a good thing. So I truly feel like this is more so being led towards men than it is women. And I'm explaining why. Because once again, a man who finds a wife finds a good thing. A man leaves his father and mother and clings to his wife. So it should not be a situation where a woman is... How do I say it? Where a woman is being put in a position where she should be making all the calls. She is planning all the dates. She is always texting and calling first. She always making the plans and she always doing this and she always doing that. Now, after y'all have established our relationship and y'all married, and if that's how y'all vibe, do your thing. But in reality, when it comes down to it, um, women are just like, so like women are the prize that men are supposed to be going out of their way for. And, you know, we live in a world today. Well, you know what I'm saying? In reality, it's so little straight men. <laughs> oh, shoot. I'm sorry, the Bible name. It's so like, it's just, mm, baby. And it's funny because, you know, watching shows like Bridgerton and, you know, shows like that, it shows how even at that time, it was so little men to go around. There were so many women that wanted those positions. There were so many women that were parts of those families. However, the men, it wasn't a lot of men to be husbands. And because of this, the women were constantly in competition with them with each other. And it's just like, 
I feel like it puts it in a position to what a man is the prize, and that is not the way God said it is supposed to be. And, you know, I, I, I said this in a message before. I don't remember if I posted it or not. But if I did it, I'm about to say it now. And if I did, I'm about to say it again. Everybody ain't going to be able to marry a pastor. Everybody is not going to be able to marry a, a doctor. Everybody is not going to be married to a lawyer. Everybody ain't going to be able to be married to this, that, and a third. You, gonna, like, you know what I'm saying? That's just what it is. Now that, however, is not me coming into agreement with that nonsense that Tyler Perry said, talk about if a man can only pay the light bill, then that's okay. No, it is not. Okay. It, like, you know what I'm saying? It's too many opportunities in front of all of us in this day and age for anybody to be feeling as if they just going to do the bare minimum. No, a man is supposed to be a provider. And if he ain't putting forth no effort to provide, guess what? He ain't ready to get married yet. There, I said it. He not. If he if he can't provide, then he not. If he have to fix his lips to say what you bring to the table, he is not husband material. He needs to go back to the uh back, the blackboard and figure out what he gonna do, and he needs to accomplish that first, and then come back and try again, try again, try again. What is that little voice that they say in the uh in the game when you mess up, when you lose, try again, try again. Uh uh. Okay, do -do 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 -do. try again. <laughs> we got to start over. Mm -mm. Mm -mm. And you know what I'm saying? This is somebody, and I'm not trying to, you know, toot my own horn, nor am I trying to just, you know what I'm saying, sit up here and big up my son father. But I, I like, when I was pregnant, I didn't work. I'm serious, I didn't. I was working as a nurse, and it doesn't mean when I met him, I wasn't working. For those, you know what I'm saying? Because every time when I talk about that, sometimes people want to try to, you know, assume this and that. No, baby. I was working when we met. Before we uh, were in a relationship and we were serious, and we would go on trips, and we would go here, go there, doing all these things, baby, I was coming out of pocket too. As quiet as it's kept. Sometimes we went out to eat at five-star restaurants and I paid as quiet as it's kept. You know what I'm saying? That's just me being real. But when I was pregnant, I could not work at the job that I was working. I could not work in that profession. I was working on a locked unit, okay? For those that don't know what that is, that is a mental, um, a mental unit at a nursing facility. I could not work there pregnant. I could not. I, like, literally... I think right a week or two weeks before I quit, one there was a situation where one of the patients was physically assaulting some of my co-workers. I could not have that job. I could not work at that job and be pregnant. I wasn't about to lo uh, risk losing my son just so that I could work them. And my son's father understood. And he made sure I was good while I was pregnant up until it was time for my son to go to school. And that's just. That's the truth of the matter. But a man provides. Okay. For his family. A man provides for a real man. A real man is going to provide for his family. You know what I'm saying? Only a little boy is going to be scratching his head. Confused trying to figure out what you going to do. Because he he know that if he really wants to. He can just disappear. You know what I'm saying? That's what little boys do. And I, I'm, you know what I'm saying? I ain't trying to be mean, but I'm just being real. And that ain't even, you know, I wasn't even intending to say none of this in this message, but I feel like that's the Holy Spirit speaking real quick. Little boys are the ones that's going to scratch their head and look at you side eye. You know what I'm saying? They, they eyes out to it. They, they don't know what to say because now, nah, nah, baby, nah, baby, nah, ba don't play with me now. Anyways, God said, This man, okay, the man in this situation needs to open his mouth and say how he feel and say it with his chest. And you know what I'm saying? And you never know, like, I just feel like this is somebody that is thinking if they say how they feel that this woman is going to be like, you know, it'll get away from me when, no, she's not going to do that. You know, and I'm even thinking, once again, thinking back on Bridgerton, how Penelope boss mode. 
she was wealthy like in that time as far as what she was doing she had her own business she basically saved up almost every single penny that she earned from her business she did not have to get married if she didn't want to her family was wealthy you know what i'm saying she uh, like it, it's just like she did not have to get married but she chose to do so because that's what she wanted to do and i'm just saying this to say just because a woman is very successful and just because she's in her boss babe vibe okay my little coffee cup i don't know where i said oh i think it's in the sink i need to wash it but anyways like she boss babe all the way you know what i'm saying it don't mean that she don't want love you know what i'm saying and that's just like when i first started the message out i was like it must be nice you know what i'm saying because it's hard from my experience, me being, you know, like, uh, like being on entrepreneur mode, you know what I'm saying? Me being on boss mode, me having to handle this, I got to do this, I got to do that. I have a hard time. I have had a hard time and I have basically gotten to a point where I ain't even lying. I talked about you. I talked to y'all about that already. Well, I'm just over it because I, I, get, I get sick of, you know what I'm saying? Well, I'm not going to say it this way. It's going to take, I know that it's going to take a man that is completely, fully confident in himself to be with me and to not be, you know what I'm saying? I don't know, you know, trying to take me away from, and I, I've experienced this already. I've experienced somebody trying to tell me that I shouldn't focus on my, on my business and I, I should chill. I should do this, that, you know what I'm saying? And from the experience I had at first, you know what I'm saying? He was like, well, you know, I'll take care of you. You ain't got to work. You ain't got to do that no more. I'll take care of you and everything will be fine. And that soon changed to, well, you got to get a job, but you got to get a job somewhere else. You can't do your own business. You need to do this. You need to do that. You need to like, man. I, and I, it got to a point to where I realized I made more uh, carrying on with my business than I did. Well, what? Hey, no, don't nobody got time for that. Don't nobody got time for that. And you know what I'm saying? And and, and that's just, I, I just, it's a headache. It's a headache. You know what I'm saying? And it is, I just feel like if you are in a position like to where you are a businesswoman, it is hard to find, from my perspective, somebody that's going to help you sell eyelashes. It's hard to find somebody that's going to help you sell and do it with a whole chest, with all confidence, without feeling any kind of way about it. But you know what I'm saying? I have, in fact, met some, you know, y'all already know my first husband ain't had no problem slinging up eyelashes, baby. But you know what I'm saying? He was a businessman before he was in Jamaica. So I wasn't, like, I was shocked, but I wasn't shocked. I was shocked, but I wasn't shocked. But you know what I'm saying? Like, I, I just feel like when it's natural, it's natural. But you know what I'm saying? It wasn't a situation where he was sitting up there trying to convince me that I need to do something else and this needs to happen and that needs to happen. He just said, you need to change the perspective. Maybe you can't do online from out here. But guess what? We can sell in person. I'll be right back. Okay, and came back like I sold out. Okay, and I'm just being real. I just feel like for whoever this is for, you may not be able to meet the man of your dreams the first time you start dating somebody. You may not be able to meet your match the first time you start, you know what I'm saying? When you finally decide to, you know, spread your wings and fly. And this person may even come at a time where you ain't thinking about that. I'm being reminded of this dream I had months ago. While I was minding my business at my mama's apartment the uh, that we used to stay at years ago, Bracewood, I'm minding my business. I'm trying to put out orders. I'm trying to um, just make sure everything is fulfilled and everything is checked off. And there were three different men that were trying to gather my attention. And I wasn't paying. One of them was like, okay, I can't go to her directly because she ignored me. But maybe if I sweet talk her mama, I'll get her attention. The other one, um, I think he just kind of got frustrated because he couldn't get my attention. And the one that was supposed to be for me saw that I was busy working and came in there and said, hey, you need some help? And I was like, I don't need help. 
but I will accept it. You know what I'm saying? And that in that sense, they they were able to build a relationship with me. And you know what I'm saying? Sometimes it could be a situation where you meet somebody and they really don't have time to focus on what you want them to focus on. Sometimes you may, you know, especially if it's a situation where y'all both are business owners, then it's going to be kind of hard. Y'all both are going to be very busy. But to that point, we already know. I know me personally as somebody that be busy, I find time for what I want to do. I find time for what I want to do. I don't care if I'm on two wheels trying to get there. I'm going to find time for what I want to do. And that's just real. And, you know, sometimes, sometimes it can be hard to find time for what you want, for who you want, or, you know what I'm saying? But I just feel like God is saying, in this situation right here, this man is sitting around um, emotional because he wants this woman to do whatever it is he wants her to do. And you know what I'm saying? If you want a housewife, you're going to have to say that. But at the same time, you have to be understanding of that woman's needs and what that woman wants. You know what I'm saying? Because even thinking back to the example that I talked about, like, I ain't sure about being no housewife. But what we not finna do, what we not finna do is you finna, you know, tell me that I need to stop carrying on in my boss mode to work a job that makes less and that I don't really want to work because that makes you feel better. We're not going to do that. We're not going to do that. You know what I'm saying? And that's that's where, you know what I'm saying? That's where I draw the line. And I just feel like when it come down to it, God is saying sometimes, sometimes it, it, it just, it, it like, communication is key. And you know what I'm saying? God is saying, do not follow vain conceits about the truth. And I feel like even from the woman's perspective in this, what I just, what God just told me, okay, about this here, from a woman's perspective, sometimes it's just not your match. Sometimes it's just not going to work out. Sometimes they just not the one for you. And you have to be able to understand the truth. Because if you don't, you will be despising God's will and you will walk directly into your punishment because you are ignoring what God is showing you. Shouldn't nobody, if somebody truly loves you and cares about you, they not finna be trying to force you to do nothing. And it could be something as simple as working at a job and taking a pay cut and something so big as you know what i'm saying doing something selling yourself or walking on the street somewhere and doing this that and the third and you know no nah, I, I just feel like god is saying when you truly god is saying for somebody when you truly find the love of your life they're not gonna ask you to compromise yourself do you not gonna have to compromise yourself for love and i just feel like this is somebody they feeling like um for whoever this part is for, this is for the woman, the women's perspective. This is a woman you dealing with a man that feels as though you would be just perfect for them. If you would do what they want you to. God said you bet not. And I just feel like for whoever this is for, I don't, I just feel like this is sliding it. It's like going sliding into the lines of a man that don't really want a wife per se, but their ideals of a wife leads into them being a pimp okay and it's kind of like they want to be able to control what she is doing and how she is earning her money and where the money goes to and dot 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 ain't nobody got time for that and god is saying like for whoever this is for this person is working really hard to try to get you to fall for them to such an extent that you will do whatever they say god said do not compromise yourself for love do not compromise yourself for love. Do not compromise yourself for love. And, and what is the point of selling yourself for crumbs when you could work a job that is honorable and make more? God said for somebody, millions. He have, a, like, I just feel like this is somebody, God have a gold mine stored up for you. And sometimes, like, he is slow release because of whoever this person is. And it's like, the, we all being tested 
and whoever this person is, they being tested. Are they really about to try to make you do this? Like, I just feel like this is a situation where there are different options for this person to go down. And they have all these options in front of them. However, they trying to figure out if they going to do it or not. God said he wants you to follow what he said. And if they are for you, they not going to ask you to compromise yourself. They not going to try to make you compromise yourself. And in reality, it's only so much of making somebody compromise themselves that you can do. And that's just being real. Because you know what I'm saying? I, I didn't said it before. I said, again, y'all have to take me up out of here. And I know where I'm going. I'm going to go and, and see my father in heaven. That's where I'm going. We're not, we not going to do that. I'm tired and I'm tired and I'm tired. As somebody that has experienced being kidnapped, experienced being uh poisoned experience being shot at experience i didn't experience it all i experienced it all i experienced it all already and let me tell you about life and how we not even finna do that i'm not i'm not i'm sorry anyways that's the message god said from the man's point of view speak your mind okay speak your mind talk about it tell, like go ahead and tell this woman how you feel and you know what i'm saying um if you feel as though you're not ready it's okay if you're not ready what's not okay is you acting as if you are ready when you know you're not ready from the woman's perspective do not compromise yourself for no man the man that is right for you he is gonna be willing to you know what i'm saying accept you for who you are as long as you ain't doing nothing crazy but if you doing an honorable job and you earn a honest living there's no reason for no man to feel as though he he is threatened by what you do He's threatened by you having your job. He's threatened by you, whatever it is that you got going on. As long as you ain't doing nothing crazy, what's wrong with it? Anyways, God said for whoever this is for, both sides, if you ignore what God is commanding you, if you ignore what God is saying, then you will have to deal with it. That's the message. Thank you guys for watching. Be sure to like, share, and subscribe. Deuces.